One of the little details you might have noticed on some of these older, like Cold War era aircraft, is that sometimes they have a porthole on the canopy. And it, that porthole, if you know what it's for, then you might as well skip on, because this is what this video is about. Why do they have a porthole? It's not so the pilot can poke his pistol out and take pot shots at the enemy. That's not what it's for. What it is, is you'll notice that this aircraft has been set out in the weather for quite a long time, many years in fact. And over those years, every summer, it gets bombarded with sunshine and quietly the canopy has become opaque. And the reason for that is because it's not actually made of glass, it's made of like a synthetic material. And that reacts with the UV light and over time it becomes opaque. Now that takes years to happen, but this is what you end up with. But there's a situation that these found themselves in where that could happen instantaneously. The Canberra and the Vulcan, there's another aircraft that has these little portholes. They have something in common, which is they drop the uh, mega flashbangs. And the trouble is when one of those goes off, it releases an intense amount of UV light and radiation in a very short space of time. So what can take years to happen when it's just sat in a field can happen in an instant. And you go from being able to see outside to being able to see nothing. So the porthole was basically so that as you come back into land, assuming everything's gone well enough that you can get back to land, as you're coming into land, you could open the porthole at the last minute and it was a way for the pilot to be able to peek out and have a visual reference as he was coming in to land the aircraft. So that's what that porthole was for. And the other thing they did was the pilots would wear an eye patch over one eye so that should a nuclear weapon go off and they become blinded in the eye that was open, they could just flip the patch over and then they could see out of their good eye. So they had one little hole to look at the ground and one good eye to see through to see it. 